What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles here, back with a quick talk through today. Today I wanted to talk through why I didn't buy a Z lens for my Nikon Z6 and why you don't need one. So first I want to start out with the big difference is you don't need a Z lens for your Nikon Z6, but you do need the FTZ adapter. That is often comes free bundled in with the Z6 or the Z7, but personally I've been loving using F-mount lenses on the Nikon Z6. I don't own a Z single Z lens. I didn't want to buy the 24 to 70 F4 that came with it. Bundled with it, it's just an F4 lens. That's just a kit lens. It didn't seem that interesting to me. At the prices they were selling at, it just wasn't that exciting of a buy. But what you can buy with that same amount, I bought the Nikon 18 to 35. This is a 35 to 45 wide angle lens. It's amazing. You get such wide angle. 18 gets you extremely wide on a full frame system and 35 gets you zoomed in a little bit, gets you more of a normal range. That was $500. I also bought it with what I'm shooting on right now. This is the 50 millimeter F1.8. That one I bought for $200 brand new. You could easily buy it used for 100 to 150, depending on the quality. I wanted it to show up the same day that the, my Nikon Z came in. So I bought it new, $200, boom. I've spent $700 on those two which beats out the Z24-70, to 70, which retails at 1,000. Instead of that, I decided to fill out my trinity of F-mount lenses with the 70-200 to 200 VR2. This is a behemoth of a lens. You mount this on there, you can shoot anything, 70 all the way out to 200. It's great with the Z system. If you want even more range to get it around 300, you, crop it, you pop it into DX mode. You're shooting at around 300 millimeters. And since the Z6 is a 24 megapixel system, you crop it into DX mode, you're still getting plenty of pixels to get those few situations you wanna go past 200 millimeters. And that's just it. It's cost for value you're getting out. Sure, the Z mount lenses are great, but you don't need it. If you wanna go mirrorless right now, those lenses are very prohibitive. If you wanna go maybe the 50 millimeter 1.8, that's still quite expensive for a 50 millimeter. There's a 35, which is more expensive. You don't need these Z-mount lenses. If you want Z-mount lenses, they are gonna be better for this system, but just get the FTZ adapter, buy some cheap used lenses. You can buy them at such a bargain since the F-mount has been out since the 60s. It's been around, there's so many lenses. They've been working on the F-mount for so long. They know the autofocus system, it's still native. Or to save another dollar, Sigma and Tamron have some great third-party options if you want to look even cheaper options to get some great, in the professional Holy Trinity lineup, you can still get some great third-party options that really fill out your kit without touching a single Z lens. Especially if you're mostly using your Z camera for stills, a mirrorless camera for video, if you want that autofocus, the F mount, Autofocus systems are slightly noisy. If you're using an on-camera mic, they're gonna be a little noisy. I have a mic mounted up right here, so you can't hear it as much. In some of my videos where I am using the on-camera mic and my 50 millimeter, the autofocus isn't the quietest on the 50 millimeter F1.8, but it's still passable. And if you do a little bit of tweaking in, of the audio in post, you can edit out most of that noise and background sound to get a workable noise to get, to get a workable picture for, for under half the cost of what the Z mount equivalent would be. All I'm saying is if the Z mount lenses is prohibiting you from moving into the mirrorless Nikon family, I say just get the FTZ adapter. I've loved it. I don't own a single Z lens. This is what I'm calling my filler trinity. I've got a wide mount. I've got the telephoto and I've got, I'm using a 50 millimeter right now. That's my short walking around camera. And that fills in the difference. If I want wide, I go wide. If I want telephoto, grab the telephoto. If I want just something small and in between, just grab the 50 millimeter. It goes to 1.8. You can pick that up for $150 easily. That's a great find and a great start to start you on the Z lens. I will definitely switch to Z lenses eventually when they come out. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna switch to them. I will, because I love shooting video. I shoot a lot of video and the quiet autofocus is something I'm looking forward to, but I'm always looking for a deal. And currently I don't think the Z lenses are a deal that I'm 
definitely keen on. I am looking at some used ones, but they just gotta drop their price a little bit more, then I'll definitely switch over. I hope this video doesn't make too many people mad. I wasn't bashing on Z lenses, I think they're great lenses, but I do want people who are thinking about moving to the mirrorless Zeek system to go ahead and do it. If you have F-mount lenses, go ahead and do it. Use the FTZ adapter. It's a great adapter. It's by Nikon, so it just works perfectly with all their lenses or third-party lenses. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit, a, hit the like and subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'm gonna be doing more talking about the Z system, the Z6, what settings I like, what settings I don't like, any great features, sort of talk through tutorial type things. Let me know what you'd like to see down below in the comments. If you don't like this video, give me a dislike and let me know in the comments what differences of opinions you have and what you, how you feel about this video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Go Toaster out.